morning, everybody. Uh, but okay. So first of all, if the audio is not ideal, sorry. I have to use the onboard camera audio because my computer just started making weird noises out of nowhere right before I started to record. So say a prayer that that's okay. It's been a crazy weekend. Um, I generally, like ideally, like to do weekly play with me videos, like film them over the weekend. I'm um, getting ready for the new week, but uh, I am filming this very early Monday morning, so we're going to try to do it quickly before the kids wake up, and um, yeah, that's, uh, we have people sick, and it's all so much fun, but Christmas is coming. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to be doing a weekly plan with me, and this is something you may not have seen before if you don't, like, keep yourself glued to my shop, which, like, who would? Uh, I keep forgetting to, like, actually post... Instagram stories about the new inserts. I'm just posting them as, like, they go live as I finish them, um, because I didn't finish them early this month. Uh, but we're doing all weekly inserts, so this is the third of five, um, weekly inserts that have been released in the shop, so go ahead, check out ganshiplans.com slash shop, and you'll see there's three new ones if you're looking for something new for your weekly planning. Um, this one is a little weird. It's called or different, I guess. It's called a rolling weekly. Or at least I'm calling it a rolling weekly. So the term rolling weekly has been used by a lot of different people to mean a lot of different things. Some people call Alistair weeklies rolling weeklies. I can't figure out why, but that might be something you see if you're Googling. Um, the way I mean it is the method that I learned from Pretty Pens and Paper, which I will link in the corner here. I've linked also on the product page. Um, the idea is that you're not tied down to a specific start and end to your week. Um, you can plan a little bit extra in advance and you have just as much freeform space as you want for rapid logging. And I will show you how that works as we go along. I'm going to start uh, with some dates. I'm holding this because Christmas is coming. <laughs> Today is the 13th, so I'm just going to add some dates to the side here. Oh, I not do M13. Mm, I'll alternate and try not to throw it off. So you notice there's more than seven of these boxes. I'm gonna try to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Sixteenth. We have plans that day. alternating colors thing is just to spice things up and throw in extra uh, chances to mess up. So you'll see there are actually 10 dates here. That's because this page, depending on how well, how much or how little space you're using every day, um, it could last you longer than a week, less than a week. We just want to make sure that we have room for all of it. Um, and so, let's see, let's add just a little bit of washi on some of these spots. Have I used this one yet? I don't think I have. This is the Christmas plaid that only ever gets pulled out one month a year. So I better take advantage. This office is currently stuffed to the brim with Christmas presents because this is the room that the kids are not allowed in. We just did some of their shopping last night. We ended up with sick people in the house over the weekend, but miraculously the timing seems to be perfect that they're all better and like cleared to go back to school. So. Just, if you're gonna get a 24 hour bug, make sure you get it Friday night, is the moral of that story. Because then it won't disturb anyone's schedules. I'm not sure now where my stickers are. Uh, I was gonna put some stickers at the top here. Oh, here they are, in my purse next to me. This is my content planner, which I have shown you a little before. It's still working mostly, I just wanted to Oh yeah, that's what I'll do. To this week, that's what I was looking for, a this week sticker. 
because you gotta add a header, right? Just for fun. When you've got freeform space, you can decorate. That's the only problem I think with a uh, a well-engineered weekly spread where you're using every inch of the spread is that you end up with nowhere for like just washi tape and faffing around. I never know how I feel about covering up a header to replace it with a sticker that says the exact same thing. Yeah. But I am definitely a fan of kiss cut header stickers over washi. Alright, these stickers are from Mad Hatter. Um, I did an unboxing when I got these, I think. So, I don't know, search my channel. It's there, she's on Etsy. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do in the way of decoration, I think. It's very, we'll call it classic, I don't know. But I have dates coming up that are things that I have notated, so I wanna fill those in as quick as I can. I guess there's not that much that is super important to write, which actually is making me feel suddenly a lot better about the coming week. There have been a lot of things that I've been sort of pushing off thinking, oh, that's next week, that's next week. I have to note that somewhere, but it's actually not that much. Like, there's the, um, the dress schedule for school because it's like Christmas spirit week and they have to wear a special thing every day, but that's on the family calendar. That doesn't have to clutter up in here. So, I'm gonna put a couple of things that are to-dos for the entire week at the top before I get started on dailies, I think. Um, because there are some of those in my monthly. Because it's the middle of the month and there's things that I do. Um, let's see. Although I still do have that list in the front that, um, is like my weekly list that's separate. Um, I'll probably be adding things as I go. I should probably just devise a bullet to be used for things to notate, like rapid log the day that I think of them, but not necessarily get done that day. Maybe a box? I'm gonna try that, I think. Um, what to do? Try to turn a specific day. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use a mild liner for each header. Um, so, the way this, I guess I haven't explained it all fully. So, and that was the entire point of this video. There's 10 days along here. Some of the sizes have nine, I think, because it fit better. But it's gonna be just a little bit more than a week and you may or may not be starting on a Monday or a Sunday or whatever. Start on whatever day you are doing your first daily. So this column, this column, this column are for rapid log dailies. Basic Bujo Writer Carol style. Um, you just use as much space or as little space as you need. So if this fills exactly what you have here, then that's great. But it's probably going to be either less or more. If it's less, then you basically you flip the page whichever runs out first. If you run out of space in the columns first, you turn the page. And whatever day you're starting on here, you put here and then just roll forward, right? If you run out of dates here and you haven't used the column up, I would probably switch to a new page and start from that new day at the top. Uh, that would be Thursday. So this may or may not be messing up my weekly plan with me and Instagram weekly planning posting schedule, but I really am excited to try this out. Um, I think I like the idea of the free form, um, of the rapid log columns and all of that. This next week section is for notes of things that need to go onto the next spread, whatever that is. So it's not necessarily next week, it could be two weeks from now, um, but stuff you don't wanna forget about but don't need to do yet. I, I hope that makes sense. Um, also do watch, like I said, um, Pretty Prints and Papers video 
Um, and because she explained it better than I did, I think. Um, and yeah, I, I was inspired by her to make this and I hope that you like it. If you do, check it out in the shop. There's a link below for that as well. And yeah, it was short today, right? Short and sweet, but I'm just setting up for the day. I didn't even do this. It's the 13th and I don't know. A lot of times I don't even do my like daily planning until I'm like at work and taking a break between a couple of things and going, ah, what do I need to get done after work today? Um, so I'm just going to put Monday and it's not going to be pretty. We're starting this on a Monday and I've got, you know, a lot of gifts to wrap is really what it comes down to and cookies to bake. I don't know when that's going to happen. That's going to happen here, assuming no one gets sick next weekend. So knock on wood, this, this is a vinyl backdrop. So, um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed that or me at all, please do subscribe. I don't want to lose you. Um, I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. It's going to be, yeah, something planner related. I will find my brain again in January. I hope you guys have not lost yours. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.